In the beginning of the story, we see Dave, a 30-year-old unemployed man who spends his days constructing a makeshift house out of mattresses. Despite considering himself a talented artist, he has never created anything useful. In an interview, he explains that he built this structure to showcase his abilities and takes responsibility for any deaths resulting from it. Three days prior, Dave's girlfriend Annie returns from a trip and discovers the mattress house in his room. She calls out to Dave who responds from inside the house. Dave welcomes her and proudly claims credit for building it. However, Annie shows no interest, ignores him, and goes to take a bath. When she returns, Dave is still inside the house. He explains that it took him three days to build it, and he is now lost. Annie reminds him that it's a cardboard house and he can easily break out. But Dave insists it appears small from the outside and he doesn't want to destroy his creation. Annie loses her patience and starts shaking the house, causing objects to fall on Dave, who screams in pain. He implores Annie to stop immediately, but she suggests he come inside instead. Dave refuses her offer, worrying Annie. Concerned, Dave contacts his friend Gordon, who soon arrives and advises against entering the house. Gordon questions why there hasn't been any light for three days, and Dave reveals he hasn't eaten during that time, so light is unnecessary. Annie becomes very worried upon hearing this. As Gordon shakes the house, the contents inside shake vigorously. Dave resists everyone's attempts to enter due to the difficulties they might face. Leonard decides to leave after witnessing the situation, leaving poor Annie distraught. Both Annie and Dave yearn for each other's company. Finally, Annie decides to enter the house, and others join her. Harry and his team film the entire experience. Upon entering, they realize Dave was telling the truth. The mattress house is much larger on the inside. While exploring, they notice a small amount of blood from Gordon's hand touching the wall, which quickly dries upon contact with the mattress. Harry, Annie, and Gordon stick together, while Jane and the others explore separately. Soon, they encounter unexpected challenges. Harry presses a button on the wall despite it saying not to, and a trap springs, hitting Gordon's jewelry. They proceed to a room with keyboard patterns on the walls, where they must step on the black keys to enter the next room. Inside, they find the room filled with paper, and two paper birds on the wall observe them. Suddenly, one of the birds attacks them, and the door closes behind them. However, Annie spots a large crack in the wall, suggesting an escape route. Harry records his reaction, but Jane, who claims to be enjoying the experience, accidentally triggers a trap that cuts her throat. Instead of blood, threads pour from her body, causing everyone to scream in horror. They hastily flee the room. Meanwhile, Gerg and Brian play hide-and-seek, but Gerg inadvertently activates another trap, which crushes him against a pointed grill. Resulting in his immediate death, Annie becomes frustrated with the traps Dave set up. However, Gordon argues that the maze would be pointless without challenges, implying Dave's intentions. Brian rushes to inform them about Gerg, and they quickly head to the location, only to find Gerg's body missing. Instead, they find a large footprint with blood. Gordon identifies it as belonging to a half-human creature. Determined to escape, Annie decides to cut through the mattress walls. As she begins cutting, strong winds arise, and a mysterious voice attempts to dissuade her. Despite this, Annie persists and opens up another room. Fearful, everyone enters the room except Brian, who gets snatched and killed by a demon that suddenly appears. Fleeing in terror, they eventually reunite with Dave. Annie leads everyone through a small door into a room furnished with mattress tables and chair. In this room, a debate ensues between Dave and Annie, with everyone blaming Dave for the ordeal. Dave argues that he explicitly forbade them from entering, so he is not at fault. He urges them to follow him, leading them through one door to another room. Upon arrival, everyone turns into mattress cartoons, leading to further shouting and blame directed at Dave. Despite the commotion, Dave insists they trust him. A demon appears, and Dave instructs everyone to follow him for their safety. They reach another room using a pipe, and as they arrive, everyone returns to their human form. Dave blocked the pipe to prevent the demon from following. Overwhelmed with fear, the group starts quarreling among themselves. Eventually, Dave proposes that to escape the situation, they must complete the maze. Annie disagrees and urges everyone to leave immediately. Reluctantly, Dave agrees, and they begin their journey. Along the way, they encounter a wall that Dave did not construct, and Leonard re-enters the maze. Inside, he discovers Jane's severed head, and in the meantime, a worm made of a mattress had stuck to his back, about which he did not know anything. There, Dave was showing everyone different rooms, and in one such room, there was a strange wall that drew everyone's attention. 
However, Dave stopped him and showed his hand, which had become a mattress because he accidentally touched that wall. By now, everyone had realized that this worm was being created by Dave himself. Worried about this, Dave asked everyone to help him so that he could kill the first demon and complete the challenge of this worm. However, everyone refused. In this difficult situation, Harry decided to interview Dave, just like we saw at the beginning of the story. Dave spoke openly in the interview, explaining that he did all this just to prove his talent. Since he didn't have a job, everyone thought he was a useless loser, so he wanted to showcase his abilities through this unique worm. After the interview, Annie agreed to support him, and now everyone started brainstorming together. Gordon suggested that if this worm is growing larger than itself, it means it is alive, and every living thing has a heart. Dave agreed with his words, but didn't make the worm's heart because he didn't want anyone to destroy it. Gordon then explained to Dave that he didn't complete the worm because he was afraid of failing, and if he didn't do anything, there was no chance of failing. Annie supported Dave and explained to him that everyone has to experience failure at some point in life, so they shouldn't be afraid of taking action. After this, Annie asked Dave to create the heart of the worm so that everyone could destroy it and escape. Following this, everyone started exploring the worm again and came across Brian, who was already dead. She sat there like a doll with her hands tied, asking everyone for a high five, but everyone knew it was a trap, so no one gave her a high five. Dave and Annie continued walking ahead while the others stood there, distracting Brian. After a while, Dave and Annie reached the middle of the worm and began creating the heart. Once the heart was complete, Annie made a hole in the wall using a sword. Gordon continued to distract Brian, preventing him from attacking Annie. However, Brian transformed into a giant hand and started sinking into the ground, pulling the cameraman along. Fortunately, the cameraman managed to save his camera before being pulled in. Afterwards, everyone gathered around Dave and Annie. However, Gordon got separated from the group as the first demon was after him. Dave and Annie placed the heart while Harry and the remaining team filmed the process. While trying to save his life, Gordon witnessed Leonard being killed by a knife blade. As soon as the heart became alive, Dave cut it with a sword, causing everything around them to collapse. Everyone escaped safely. Dave felt saddened by destroying something he had put so much effort into, but Harry reminded him that at least they had the video. So, they should be happy. Afterward, everyone disposed of all the garbage from which the demon emerged once again. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.